What is up guys, my name is Ignaz, welcome back to the channel. Last week we compared a few semiconductor names, but now I want to switch over to another tech industry. So this week we have communication equipment manufacturing companies. And the first one will be Cisco Systems, ticker symbol CSCO. On the year today the stock is now down for 42.63%, but if we zoom out to the last 5 years, it went from $33 back in 2017, to $42.63 now, up for 27.51%. Company's market cap is now at $174.83 billion, and the stock is trading at a dividend yield of 3.57%. So this will be the first name for today's comparison, and I have two more to put against it. The second will be Motorola Solutions, ticker symbol MSI. On the year to date the stock is down for 10.65%, but if we zoom out to 5 years, it was trading at around $84 in 2017, and we saw quite some growth to $239 now, in 5 years higher for 183.5%. The company is still way smaller than Cisco at a market cap of $39.88 billion, and it is now trading at a dividend yield of 1.32%. Now for the third one we have Hewlett Packard Enterprise ticker symbol HPE. On the year to date this stock is down for 21.25% and zooming out to 5 years doesn't help much. In 2017 it was trading at $14.26, so in 5 years managed to still go lower to $12.74, down for 10.87%. Market cap here is again way lower at $16.35 billion, but the dividend yield is quite up there now at 3.78%. So these three will be the names for our today's dividend comparison. And to make that happen, let's go to my table on Google Sheets. So to perform this dividend comparison, we'll use five metrics. Dividend yield, dividend payout ratio, years of consecutive dividend increases, five-year compound annual dividend growth rate, and the current dividend yield compared to its five-year average. We'll pick the number on each stock for these metrics and then compare them in between. The best stock under each metric gets a point, then we'll sum the points up, and in the end the stock with the most points will be considered the winner of this comparison. I hope that the rules are clear and early thumbs up would be very much appreciated, and with that out of the way, let's start. So the first metric is the dividend yield. It is calculated by taking the annual dividend per share and dividing it by the share price. Cisco Systems now has a dividend of $1.52, so at a price of $42.46, it is a dividend yield of 3.56%. Switching to Motorola, they are paying an annual dividend of $3.16, so at a price of $238.65 per share, it is a dividend yield of 1.32%. And now HP Enterprise, their dividend is at $0.48 cents per share, so at a price of $12.72, we have a dividend yield of 3.76%. Metric number 2 is the dividend payout ratio. It shows what part of company's earnings are being paid back to investors as dividends. So in Cisco's case, we have the dividend payout ratio at 43.07%, meaning that almost half of company's earnings are being used for dividends. Now let's check Motorola, and their payout ratio is at 28.32%, so they are using almost one-third of their earnings for dividends. And now in HP case, the payout ratio is at 22.48%, meaning that under one-fourth of earnings are being used for dividends. Third metric is the numbers of years with dividend increases. So for how many years in a row the company has been increasing dividends for at least one quarter every year. Here we can find that Cisco has been increasing dividends consistently for the last 11 years. Now switching to Motorola, and they have been increasing dividends for at least one quarter straight for the last 10 years, but HP is a bit different as their consecutive dividend increase history is now at exactly 0 years. Now the next metric is the compound annual dividend growth rate. For the comparison we'll take the 5 year average including the next year's estimate. So in Cisco's case we have the compound annual dividend growth rate at 2.86%. Switching to MSI and their 5 year dividend growth rate is a bit better at 8.21%. And now with HP that is again a different direction because their compound dividend growth rate is at 3.08%. The last metric for the comparison is the current dividend yield compared to its 5-year average. And for that we'll use my dividend investing watchlist on Google Sheets. So we are now in the tab for Cisco, 
and here we have its dividend yield history for each quarter of the last 5 years. Out of this information we calculate that on average in 5 years the stock was trading at a dividend yield of 2.96%. So the worst time to get into the stock was back in 2019, where the dividend was at 2.38%, under the 5 year average for 19.47%, and the best one was by the end of 2020 at 3.64%, over average for 23.17%. But if we would take the stock right now at a dividend yield of 3.51%, that is still way over the 5-year average for 18.77%. So this is here the number that we will be comparing. Switching to Motorola, we have its dividend yield history of the last 5 years, and on average the stock was trading at a yield of 1.52%. So the best time was back in 2017 at a dividend yield of 2.08%, over average for 36.8%, and worst was by the end of 2021 at 1.12%, under the 5 year average for 26.34%. And we can find that taking the stock right now at a dividend yield of 1.32%, we still have it under the average for 13.19%. Now the last one is HPE. And out of its dividend yield history, we calculate that on average it was trading at 2.87%. So worst yield was back in 2019 at 1.45%, under the 5 year average for 49.44%, and the best one was in the middle of 2020 at exactly 5%, over average for 74.36%. But if we do take the stock right now at 3.76%, that is quite there over the 5 year average for 41.12%. Now we have the numbers for today's dividend comparison. If you by any chance would be interested in doing a similar analysis for another dividend paying stock yourself, you are able to access this watchlist by following the first link at the top of the description. Otherwise feel free to add a ticker symbol in a comment below, and I'll consider adding that into this watchlist myself. Maybe you could share some interesting opportunities available in the market that I'm still missing. So we went through all the metrics for each stock, the results are in the table, and now we can start assigning points. First one goes to Hevlet Packard with the highest dividend yield at 3.76%, second point again to HPE with the lowest dividend payout ratio at 22.48%, a point goes to Cisco with 11 years of consecutive dividend increases, then a point goes to Motorola with the highest compound annual dividend growth rate at 8.21%, and the dividend yield compared to its 5 year average goes to HPE with the highest percentage at 31.12%. So now that the points are assigned, we can calculate results. Cisco Systems has 1 point, Motorola 1, and HPE 3. This means that with a sum of 3 points, Hevlet Packard is considered the winner of this dividend comparison. And that was it with today's comparison, make sure to support the channel and leave a thumbs up under the video. Are you holding any of the communication equipment names yourself? Share your pick from the industry in a comment below. If you by any chance would be interested in getting access to my notes, then consider memberships. By becoming a member you will get access to Discord, where I share all my Google Sheets documents and all the buys and sells exactly when I do them. This could be a great option to track my moves closely. Last week I've looked into several other companies, so if you are interested in any of these then click on a video that is currently on the screen. And that was it from my side, thank you for watching and I will be seeing you all in the next one.